Okay, I have been waiting a very, very long time to get this parcel back. Actually, I haven't been waiting a long time to get it back. I've been, been waiting a long time. I did these paintings that are inside this parcel uh, months ago. You guys have already seen them. You've just watched Nikki's video. Um, it's now my turn to actually have a look at what she did. I've got no idea. I'm sure it's super impressive. I've seen the small one with the boastful um, resin that I sent Nikki. I don't have my videos, by the way. She's probably already alerted you of that fact. I um, don't know what happened because I did them so long ago. I don't know, they got lost in Dropbox or something. So we're gonna do it again and film all the different parts, but because I sent three paintings down for Nikki to um, embellish, um, I just kind of gave her a one plain one and then two other ones that um, I thought would just be suitable for the type of embellishing that Nikki actually does. Okay, so I have not seen this one. This one is... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I already can see what it is through there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be so adorable. So there's my, my job, <laughs> as along with the resin. I also have to, um, I have to really finish these off. I made an absolute mess of them before I sent them down there. So, okay. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a little bit of tissue stuck to that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Ah! <laughs> this is so different to what I thought Nikki would do. I just can't believe how beautiful it is. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. Okay. So when I resin this beautiful piece here, um, Nikki's sprayed the varnish on so it doesn't look too crash hot at the moment. Um, but... The finish on it isn't isn't fabulous because it's got the varnish on top of it, but this is going to come back um, absolutely beautifully. I'll dam. I'll make a resin dam for this one so I can get the height up above. Or the other option is to resin the flat part here and leave these guys just with the varnish on them so they kind of stick out. I don't know. I'll have to get back to Nikki and see what she thinks we should do with this one. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely stunning. Oh, such a cool idea. I just can't believe. I can't believe how amazing that is. Freaking beautiful. Alrighty, so let's get a beautiful art resin glass bath, as I sometimes like to call it, on this beautiful creation of ours. So I'm just going to mix up my art resin one to one, um, give it a good mix for about one and a half to two minutes. It's a small cup, so maybe one to one and a half minutes is enough there. We don't want to create too many bubbles. Um, and I'm feeling like it's going to be quite easy to go around the mermaid tail and the turtle because they are quite prominently up off the surface. Uh, but I'm also nervous because I know that a lot of work has gone into this from Nikki and I am absolutely scared right now. I'm going to mess it up. Um, in my mind, I'm thinking, 
if it does encroach on those areas and run into the tail and the turtle a little bit, um, I'm probably going to have no choice but to dam it up and get another layer of resin on it and have a clean sheet of resin over the whole thing. Um, but I'm going to definitely take a chance now to, to see if I can push it in and around the tail and hopefully it, it is high enough to create that wall that is going to stop that resin from, from creeping up into that beautiful tail. I really like the finish that Nikki has put on there. The varnish is a really nice contrast to the, the super shiny resin. So fingers crossed it works out exactly how I'm planning. Um, I'll put some music on for you guys to enjoy this little fiddly resin application um, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I accidentally forget that I'm trying to keep the resin off the turtle and I just put a tsunami over the top of him basically with all that resin. Um, got a little bit confident and crazy with that scooping I just did on the edge and I really did push some onto his flipper. So I managed to get that off um, and it, yeah, it, it stayed away, which is really good. I thought it might bleed into the turtle, but turtle is so high up off the surface, I was able to push that resin back off and um, it went back down and stayed where it was meant to. So that was lucky. Lost my concentration there for a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with it at this stage. It's just brought out all of the beautiful Lagoon Piggy, all of Nikki's silver embellishments um, throughout the wishy-washy waves there. Um, the resin has really brought all of that to life. So very stoked with the outcome. Um, don't think it could have gone any better actually. So I'm just going to pop the bubbles with my my trusty torch. Um, if I had the real time noise on you would hear that my torch it has a really bad rattle so highly suggest to just get rid of them when they start doing that, the little cheap ones, um, because not long after that mine carved it. So I think it was a bit of a telltale sign it was on the way out with the rattle, probably a bit dangerous to be using torches that don't sound quite right. So yeah, a little safety tip there. Um, so right now I've just got my warm light on and I'm just trying to make sure that flipper has no resin left on it. 
And also, I'm just looking to see if there's any dust particles or doggy hairs, which can be a nightmare in resin. Um, it's looking pretty good. I couldn't believe the end result had zero dust particles or hair or specks of anything in it. It was considering how long I took to apply this resin and fiddle around with it for so long. I was really happy that, yeah, I didn't get any debris in it because I'd already put a resin coat on before I sent it to Nikki to embellish. Um, I didn't really want to have to put a third coat on, so luck was with me with this one um, and I got away with that that second coat. And I couldn't have put another second coat around the tail and turtle anyway. It wasn't They weren't high enough, so I was really um, quite happy with my luck with this one. I normally don't get the perfect resin finish, as none of us do, really, with that one tiny little imperfection. Um, and we all know how happy we are when we, we see it the next day and there's nothing at all in it. It's like a rejoice. Rejoicing for the resin, a clean resin. So here's the end finished result. As you can see, when you get it in the light, that lagoon does turn much more of a bluey colour rather than the green. Um, absolutely stunned with Nikki's embellishing. She is just such a natural. Um, I think with that type of thing, you've either got it or you don't. I definitely don't have it. Um, and Nikki definitely has it. She has that really amazing talent for just knowing where to put things and not getting confused from the lines underneath either and being distracted from the original painting that she's going over the top of, which is my problem. I tend to follow the lines too much of the painting underneath. Um, Nikki seems to know that going in the opposite over the top is really a beautiful way to make that contrast um, and to have the painting underneath and the embellishing on top complement each other. So yeah, I'm stoked with our result. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And yeah, there's one more collaboration piece between Nikki and myself that uh, we'll be bringing out soon as well. So thanks for coming guys and I'll catch you all next time. Bye.